So in uh, this session, we're going to be going over the Grin uh, Gre, <laughs> Gre Connect portal, which is just launching today. Um, I'm just looking at who I see here. Um, and I think most people are uh, family members. Actually, maybe I'll just ask because there's a couple of people I don't know. So um, I'm going to try to create a poll. Actually, maybe I'll just ask in the chat um, because the, the amazing thing, uh, the exciting thing I think about Greek Connect is we've built it so that it's a different experience for families and for researchers and clinicians. So families can kind of have their private area, researchers and clinicians can have their private area, but then there's also the ability for everybody to interact together. So in the chat, can you tell me if you are a family member or a researcher or a clinician? It's gonna help for the demo. So I'm not seeing, um, <laughs> I'm not seeing anything in the chat yet, but I'll just, you know what, I'll, we'll go ahead. So Jan is, Jan is a family member, thank you. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll go ahead and start with the family version. Bernie's a family member. Um, yeah, so so we'll go ahead and start with, with what it will look like for a family member and then what it's going to look like for a researcher. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so you should be seeing it now. So this is what you see when you go to the Gree Connect page. Um, when you go there for the first time, you're going to see something here that will allow you either to create an account or to uh, log in. So the first thing you're going to do is create an account. Um, we want to make sure that this is a place just for people in the GRI community. Um, so GRIN, GRIA, GRIC, uh, families, researchers, and clinicians. So it's going to take some time for us to approve you. We're going to try to do it as quickly as we can, um, but it could take up to a day uh, just for us to make sure that that you're you know the right person to join um and then we'll send you an email when you get approved so then um you'll come back you'll you'll register you'll use the same email and password that you've used um and then you can click continue uh or, or you'll you'll log in or click continue to the community if you're already logged in so this is kind of the main page that you're going to see when you log in and there's a lot here um so i'm going to kind of to take you through it um one of the first things that, that's good to do when you join is up in the upper left hand corner there's take community tour so we've built a, a little tour that'll show you some of the the features um that i'm going to show you today but that's a good way to just go and um get a refresher um Now, I'm actually going to stop sharing this screen and share another version because I realized that I just logged in to my admin version. So what I see um, as an admin, it's showing me both what is there for families um, and what's there for researchers. So it's going to look a little bit different. So here now is... Um, no. Okay. Let me log out. Okay. So back on again. Um, so you'll see that this is um, actually my wife, Laura's account. So um, you're not supposed to share accounts, but I'm doing it just for the demo so that you can see what it'll look like um, when you sign in as a family member. So everything's going to look the same, but there's just going to be some differences in terms of what you have access to. So let me take you through um, basically this page first. So you'll see um, this middle section is a news feed. So it's a lot like what you might see when you log into Facebook for the first time. So um, what family members are going to see here is different from what researchers are going to see. So there's basically everything that you post on this forum is going to fall into one of three categories. So content that anyone in the community can see content that only family members can see or content that researchers and clinicians can see. So everything that's here is going to be either something that, uh, because I'm logged in as a family member, something that's open to family members or something that's open uh, to everyone. So if a researcher logs in, there's going to be stuff here that they're not going to see. Um, also on the community page, I mentioned the tour already. We have groups that you can join. So um, this is showing um, the, the what group that Laura is part of. We uh, launched a, a beta launch of, of this website uh, a couple of weeks ago. So she's in that beta testers group. 
you can bookmark posts that you see and want to refer back to if, if someone's shared something that's uh, that's relevant. Just a trending tags feature up here um, and some events that are coming up are here. So uh, this top one is, you can see it's, uh, it's live. I guess that's what that icon means. I haven't seen that before. Um, and so, yeah, so that's basically the overview of what you can do in the newsfeed. Now, um, one thing to mention, you have the ability up here, it says to start a post. And so you can post something in there that everyone in the community um, is going to see. You actually have two options. You can post it only to people that you're friends with. So just like on Facebook, you can have a mutually agreed upon friend. You can invite someone and they can accept it. Um, or you can post to everyone. We asked our technology partner that we're working with for the forums to turn that function off for us. Um, they haven't been able to do that. And, and the main reason is just really because we're not able to segment that by, by families or researchers, but also because we feel like this is going to be a stronger community if things are really grouped into categories and people know where to find and, and conversations don't get lost. So even though you can do this, we're sort of discouraging people to do this for now. Um, and we may come back, uh, uh, um, a moderator may come if you post something and say, hey, actually, would you mind deleting this from here and posting it in this other forum instead because it's relevant to discussions that are going on there. So the kind of heart of the community is up here in the forums and groups sections. So forums um, are areas where um, ba basically we've, we've created all kinds of, of different topics. And you'll see um, that we've tried to always make it really clear who this is open to. So about Greek Connect, ask, ask an Expert, Drugs and Supplements, these are open to all members where we have other forums. These are also all members. We also have other forums here. You'll see, for example, Family Chat by Jean, um, where we've built a, a page, a forum for every different one of the GREE genes, um, where the conversation is meant to be uh, or is only available to families. So researchers can't see what's going on in here. So we've tried to make that really clear by, by adding those posts there, but it's, it's worth just making sure, especially, you know, if you're sharing sensitive information about your kids that you may not want um, researchers to see, um, just keep aware of, of what's what. Um, so we have the ability to really build this out into anything. And, and we've created some things to, to get us started. Um, and we've been working with some of the beta users to, to add new areas. But um, about ReConnect is basically, um, you know, everything about the forum itself. So um, one of the first things that we suggest that you do is go to this section called introductions, where everybody is introducing themselves um, to other members of the community. So um, I'll, I'll show you mine where I've uh, talked a little bit about myself, have put pictures of, of Bryson in there. And so um, it's a great, great thing for you to do um, when you log in. The forums also has, uh, or in the About Greek Connect, we also have um, Welcome to Greek Connect. So, so far we've built a, a Frequently Asked Questions tab, but um, we'll, we'll be adding more, um, more there. But that that is also a good place to start if um, you're not clear how, how to use the forums. Um, we're, we're, we're trying to answer the questions there. And as we get more questions, we'll add to that. Um, Greek Connect suggestions. So that's somewhere where any idea that you have about how to improve the forum, you can post it in here. We had a separate beta group, so I don't think we have anything here yet. But basically, you can add a topic. And this, this page is built a little differently. So you can vote um, vote up other people's ideas. And so the, the ideas that rise to the top are going to be the ones that we prioritize in improving the community. Um, and then group requests is designed for um, if you have a group that you want us to build, and I'll show groups in a second, um, we'll do that. So one of the areas that you'll that I'll show you in groups is that we are creating um, a group for, and these are these are family only groups, but for each different variant. So Lauren has asked if we could make a group for this uh, Grin One variant, and so she asked for it here. I said yes, I've created it. I invited her to be the owner, and then um, and then she can. She can get rid of, of me as the owner once uh, or, or 
I guess, get rid of me as a, an admin once, once that happens. So that's some of the things in the about reconnect. Ask an expert is an area where um, what we're, we're trying to do is have one place where family members can answer questions, ask questions of researchers and clinicians. So you can come in here. And um, so Jackie posted the first question and uh, is asking about comorbidities and whether there's a connection between um, bipolar disorder and, and GRI mutations. Um, so it's a, a GRIN 2A family. And uh, this isn't a researcher, this is actually another family, but the family member had some, found some research or, or knew of some research and, and posted it here. And so what we're um, gonna try to do is just ask our researchers and clinicians to come in and check these and respond. Um, one, research one researcher has suggested that we actually set up a schedule and have a different um, person each week who's sort of volunteering to be the one that, that'll check um, this, this post, this thread once a day to see if there's new questions to respond to. But um, we've just got it kind of open for now. So we'll see how it goes, but we'll definitely be encouraging researchers and, and clinicians to join there. Um, drugs and supplements. So this is another one that's open to all members. And um, this is something that some families have asked for. They, they really asked for an area where, you know, all the information about a particular drug and families' experiences and researchers' knowledge and, and publications can all kind of be in one place. So memantine is a drug that we hear a lot about. There's, there's probably more um, trials for, for memantine. It's all just on one patient, but there's been, I think, four, four different trials where memantine has been tried on gain of function patients. And so um, for each of these, Megan, our research coordinator, is writing up a, an overview. But really, um, we want this to be a place where you know every, any family member can come and ask questions, share their experiences. Uh, researchers can can ask their can, can share their their knowledge about the the drugs as well. Um, and so this is one where you know we we've posted some of the more common ones or some of the ones that we know families are on. Um, we're also you know one, one obvious one that, that's missing. I know that that people are asked a lot of questions about and some kids are using is uh, medical marijuana or, or um, CBD THC. So we'll be posting that one here. And uh, kind of any other drugs um, that, that uh, are, are worth discussing or supplements or, or even molecules that are, are being tested as drugs, um, we, can, we can build in here. Um, so let me just go back and show you some of, some of the other things that we've already built. And the reason only three show up at a time, and that's because this site was designed uh, sort of mobile first. Um, so there's not an app, but it works really well in mobile. But um, for, for, for some of the, some of that, <laughs> the downside of some of that is that there's some things that we built to be great on your phone. Um, so you know it would be better probably for for a desktop version if you could see a lot of these categories at a time without clicking through. Um, but if we click to the next page, um, we've got a. a page here about the GRE conference. So we're thinking, you know, this is a place uh, where if you're going to the conference in, in Boston, um, maybe you can find a roommate, maybe um, we can share news and information as speakers are confirmed, um, different, different things we can do there. Uh, published research. So we're going to try and start a thread on all of the research related to the different GREEs um, and an off topic board. So uh, again, this is for all members, including researchers and clinicians, but anything that you want to um, post that doesn't, that's not really a, a grin topic, you can post in there. Um, we've got a, uh, an area for, for COVID and GRI, so talking about um, risk for grin kids, side effects for vaccines, what grin doctors recommend for, for GRI patients. Um, we know that, uh, or we expect that, that the vaccines are going to be approved for um, younger kids later this year. So what, I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions around that. I um, actually can't remember what this was. Okay, I think this is, a, this is maybe something we, we had had and then we're, we're, um, we've moved, we've re, we shifted things around. Let me just see if there's anything else. Uh, oh yeah, so we've got some, some more family only areas. So family chat by topic. Um, so just a few that we've built out so far. So, so being able to share your inch stones and milestones, like what your kids are, are doing that's new, um, epilepsy and seizures, food and digestion. So these are some of the family only topics. You saw before we have one for um, each of the degree genes. 
Um, yeah, one, one about gain of function and loss of function. This is again for all members. Um, and then one for just about when GRI is in the news um, or, or, or media, we can post updates there. Um, so we'll always be adding to this. We'll always be trying to make it so that there's somewhere that everything fits. And, and you know, we can, as you can see, we can create big categories, um, but then smaller subcategories, smaller subforums. Um, so we'll, we'll be building it in a way that, that kind of makes the most sense and, and is easier, easiest to navigate. I'm just going to go over and just see if there's questions. Okay, so um, Jan asked, what is the site? So the site is going to be um, greconnect.community. So that is the, um, <laughs> that's what it's, it's in the process of being transferred over to. I just checked before the session started and it hadn't been that yet. Um, but, but you can also, uh, I'm just gonna post the link here. So I'm posting this in the chat. This is where you can go today to sign up. Um, and I think this link is still gonna work even after it goes to the proper URL, um, but I'll post that other one now too. That's a lot active. So, so this is what should be the long-term um, permanent version of the website. Um, so yeah, if you have any other questions, just post them there in the chat or the Q and A, and I'll I'll check back. Okay, so that is uh, discussions or forums. Uh, one other thing to mention is if you scroll down the page, this is where you can see um, all of the most popular questions, or or the you know, I guess they're ranked by um, how active the conversations or the threads are. So if you want to just see what's new, other than what's in your other than by looking in your newsfeed, you can look here. Um, we have the ability to kind of pin things at the top. Um, so the, the FAQ is pinned to the top now, so, so people can find it easily. So that's forums. The next thing I'm gonna show you is groups. So groups like forums, um, are we've divided into those three categories where they can be for all users, they can be for families only, or they can be for researchers and clinicians. So, um here is a families only groups um th these are so these are family only uh it looks like they're not all marked but we'll, we'll mark them um but i'll show you when i log in after as a researcher that they're not going to see these these are not going to show they're not even going to be able to to click on these um they just won't be there for them but basically what we're doing is building um we have the ability to build a group for every variant and um so we've started with some of the more uh, common ones, um, you know, a lot of the ones where there's there's three or more patients. I think there's a few more to add, but really we want we want to, to do one for every uh, member of the community that wants one. And you know, even if you have a variant that you don't know anybody else who has it, it's a good idea to start the group here because um, hopefully this is somewhere where people will go to search and uh, so recommend that you um, ask us to start a group for your variant, that you post in it <laughs> so people know that that there's someone there um, and that then when, when somebody new joins, they can come and find your variant and uh, connect with you. And again, um, I know some people um, are, are sort of reluctant about how this information is shared with, with researchers, um, but that's why we've, we've built this so that um, only families have access to it. Um, so just going back, some of the other examples of groups. So we've got groups by, and these, again, we're still in the process of building them out, but groups by language. So, so far we've started one in, in French and Polish, just because that's who some of the beta users were. Um, but we can start these for, for any language. And the idea is that this is a place for researchers, clinicians, and family members together. And, and by the way, um, you know, we, we know that a lot of researchers, um, have a, a working knowledge, at least of scientific English, no matter where they are in the world, because English has sort of become the, the language of, of research. Um, it's not the same with clinicians necessarily. And we would encourage you to invite your doctor to um, your child's doctor to come and join the forum and, uh, and, and to learn more about the, the disorder that way. Um, we can start 
kind of groups or, or areas for physicians only. Um, we're also planning to put together a, a, a resource either here or on the Cure Grin website where families can see from around the world um, or, or families anywhere in the world can kind of go and look at researchers in their areas. Um, and then there's also family groups by region. So we started these um, with some uh, some countries where we've had some some members uh, that were in the, the beta trial. But if you uh, if your country's not here, we can add it. Um, a good just a good place to connect. And uh, you know potentially we could even go um, more regional. And if there were people that wanted them just for a particular state or province or something like that, um, we could potentially do that too. But we're starting here just with um, just by country. So that's groups and we'll keep um, adding to those as time goes on. So then the next tab that you'll see at the top is like the gallery. So um, the file gallery allows us to upload content or, um, or, or photos. Uh, photos. So the, the only thing that we've updated so far is the uh, Re Grin Research Roadmap, the Cure Grin Research Roadmap. Um, we also have ability to have a video gallery. So we've started uploading, um, actually my son Connor has done a lot of this. He started uploading uh, videos from past conferences, the videos from today's conference we're gonna put in here. Um, and then we're also creating categories in, in different languages where um, versions of different videos with subtitles will be posted. So people anywhere can, uh, can access that. So one thing I wanted to mention actually when, when I'm talking about languages is that the whole site we've kind of um, built with the idea of we really want it to be something because CureGrin uh, is is an international organization because greed disorder you know doesn't doesn't um, respond to to boundaries um, we really want it to be something that any any anyone can um, can can use just no matter their language so we're asking people in uh, to post anywhere in the forums. Uh, anywhere on the site in whatever language they're most comfortable with. And then, um, you know, if you see something that you don't understand to use kind of a built-in translator to be able to, to see that. So I'll show you um, what that can look like in a minute. On the member section, you can log in and um, see a member directory. And so what we've done when you log in or when you create your, your profile, um, when you, you log into the site for the first time, it'll ask you if you're a family member or a researcher. And then if you're a family member, it'll ask your uh, child's gene. So it's not always easy to see, but if you hover over it or if you um, tap and hold on it on the phone, you can see um, you know, each person's variant. Um, Amy Murphy there also has a star. So uh, I, uh, the, the three most active of the beta users in, in August um, got got these most active stars, and, and we'll be doing that kind of uh, regularly, updating updating that. Um, Amy Ramsey, you can see that she's got one that is a uh, researcher. Um, just see if I can find one for clinician. There was one that I approved yesterday, but I don't. Um, anyway, there's there's another um, researcher there. You can see that. Um, Denise, she's Grin One, but then she's also got an admin uh, tab or a community manager tab. So we also are recruiting community managers um, who can help us moderate the forums, um, welcome new members, those kinds of things. So um, if you'd like to volunteer for that, uh, we, we'd be we'd love to hear from you. Um, so so far, we really launched the beta as something that focuses more, uh, or, or sorry, we launched the beta for families. Oh, here's what I was looking for before. So, so Jennifer Bain is a physician. Um, so she has the physician or clinician um, icon there and also a researcher. So she's at Columbia and does a lot of, uh, of rare genetic disease uh, research. So the one other thing, yeah, I mentioned languages. So I wanted to show you something with that as well. Um, Let's see, I think maybe Marie, Marie is an example. Uh, maybe Marie is posted in. OK, so here um, Marie has posted herself in both English and in um, Norwegian, I think. And so um, 
but you could have just posted it in, in Norwegian. And then because I have Chrome and I am um, have the, the Chrome Google Translate plugin, if I just highlight that, and actually I should be able to see Yeah, um, yeah, so if I highlight that and then click on this plugin for Google Translate, um, it'll sort of pop up with the automatic um, translation of, of what she said. So um, it's really pretty easy to do. It's not as easy as it is in Facebook where it gets done automatically, but we're sort of, you know, really, really, again, want to make this um, international. So we want to make it easy for people who's, who, for whom English isn't their first language. Um, so that is members. The other thing that you can do is um, you see someone that you know, you can invite them to uh, be your friend. So Amy Ramsey, I'm, I've just invited her to, um, actually I've invited her, Laura's invited her <laughs> to be your friend. So um, yeah, you can invite people to be your friend. You can see these stars. Well, actually this, this here where you see um, two people, two little people in the upper right. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, but two people in the upper right hand corner of each um, name. Uh, that is how many friends you have, how many friends you've connected to on here. And then the points um, is just how active you've been in the forums. So um, that's basically what we base the uh, these badges on. So I think that's everything to do with that. Yeah, and then um, actually you can add a filter here um, as well. So if you're if you're looking to see just certain, like let's say you're a Grin 2B family and you only want to see um, a list of other Grin 2B families or you you know only want to be friends with them, um, you could just pick Grin 2B and apply and then it's going to show all of the Grin 2B families who are registered. Um, there's also an organizations tab. So, so far we've only built out one for Cure Grin, but we have the ability to build out this tab for um, other, other uh, rare disease organizations. Um, you know, we could build them out for labs um, or companies. I think we, we just have to think about how we want to do it, but there's the capacity for um, building out information on different groups related to, to GRI. Um, I'll show you events. So we're building three different tabs here. One is um, something that is open to everybody. And I think most of what we post, it, most of the events we post is going to be here. Um, but you can see here are, there's today's conference and then here's two other events. Um, you can click here, you can like or, or confirm that you're going. Um, but one of the things that I like too about this is that, you know, if you open up the event, you can see the information, um, but you can also just add it to your calendar. So click on this calendar button. Um, and if you use Google Calendar, um, you can just click click Google Calendar to get it added. Or, or if you use Outlook, click Outlook. Um, so that, you know, cause I know there's always so much going on. We have such busy lives that if you can, if there's an easy way to add something to your calendar, uh, as soon as you see it, then, then you're probably more likely to go. Um, this final link just takes us to the Cure Grin website. Um, let me show you before I, I go over and show you the, the researcher view and how it's different. Um, so for anyone, uh, that, that you see there, you can go and look at their profile. Um, so here's Laura's profile. So she's already uploaded a photo and, and, and panel. We really encourage you when you first join to upload a profile photo. The site is just going to work so much better if you can, um, if we can see each other. So I um, encourage you to do that, but then also um, to add information about yourself. So this where it says uh, family connection, uh, family member or Greek connection family member, that's going to automatically get populated but then you have the ability to um, you know, choose your, your, the, the country that you're from to add more information about yourself um, and, uh, and, and so on. Yeah, you can, uh, there's contact information you can put in there, what, whatever you're comfortable with, just knowing that every other community member can see it. Um, so Laura's added her, her Twitter, um, it looks like. So 
yeah, so go in and, and fill that out so that you can find um, other like-minded uh, people, people that you want to connect with and, and learn from. So, yeah, I think, I think I've covered everything. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stop. Actually, I'll go over and see if there's any other questions in the chat. So no. Um, OK, so what I'm going to do is stop sharing this for now. And then I'm going to log in as a researcher, and I'll, I'll share it again in a, in a minute. So if anybody has any questions, um, just leave them there uh, in the chat or in the Q&A, which is the right tab there where the, the chat is. Yeah, OK. So. Now I've logged out and I'm going and logged back in as a researcher. So I'm going to show um, what that looks like. So, I mean, for, for the most part, so this is someone dem demo researcher we've built. Um, this is, for the most part, it looks the same, um, but there's going to be different things that show up. So for example, in the forums, if you're a researcher um, and you get in here, you're still going to see everything that all members see, so about Greek Connect. But then you can see that there are these other areas that are only for researchers and clinicians. So um, what we're calling these professional chats. Um, and so some of the, the ones we've set up so far are collaboration opportunities. So researchers can connect with each other um, on potential projects uh, that they want to work together on. Um, they can share and discuss information on the, the GRI phenotype, on electrophysiology, on preclinical models. And really, we've just started here. There's, there's tons more. So um, if you're a researcher or a clinician, we'd love to just hear what else um, you want us to add there. So um, yeah, and then there's also a professional chat by gene. So with families, we built this up for each individual gene. Here, we've, we've built it by family of gene because researchers tend to focus more on, you know, all of the grins, um, not necessarily, but tend to be interested in all of the grins rather than just grin two, where, where families might be a little different. Um, and then you can see some of the other, the exact same all members groups that we saw before. So um, yeah, so, and then in their dashboard, anything that's posted in a family group is not going to show up here for a research, but they won't be able to see it. Um, otherwise, it's going to pretty much be, um, it's going to pretty much be the same experience. We've just really built it, uh, you know, built gates in it so that families have the ability to be as open as they choose in the family areas and researchers and clinicians have the ability to be as open as they choose in the, um, in the other areas. So that's what I wanted to show. Um, any questions? Um, can I ask a question then? What what would you like to see? What kind of categories or uh, forums or groups would you like to see that we haven't uh, that you didn't see there? And this this is you know for for both families or researchers. Okay, well um, if there's no other questions, then uh, everybody can kind of get ready for uh, to take a few minutes. We'll we'll can finish a couple minutes early, and uh, I guess in eight minutes the Ask Me Anything panel, I hope I've got that right, is uh, starting. So this is you know, a place where we've got uh, three great researchers, one of whom is also a clinician and can answer questions, hopefully, or can try to about anything that you've heard today um, or any other questions that you have. Um, Megan Collins, our research coordinator, is going to be hosting that session. Um, so, uh, as soon as that opens, you can go over there and just enter your questions in the chat or the Q and A. And just a reminder that, um, that's going to be back on the main, main stage. So that is not a breakout session like this one is. Um, but I want to thank everyone for joining. I really hope that you all join reconnect, um, make the most of it. We want it to be, um, a place where you'll want to go and check every day. Um, you know, Facebook is great. Um, for connecting with other families, but there, there's a couple areas where, where this will be better. We know a lot of researchers and clinicians are reluctant to use Facebook for this kind of um, work collaboration. Um, and we also know that the, you know, the Facebook groups that have been built so far are all kind of segmented by gene. 
So this is a place where we're bringing everybody together, not just the, the grins, but the other grees too. Um, and then finally, one of the, the downsides of Facebook and why we think this will be better is that um, is is that this is something that is is you know in the hands of, of families that what we um, are running. It's our own. It's your own. And um, you know, when, with Facebook, we don't really know um, what's going to happen. Facebook could choose to, to shut the group down for any reason or remove content or, or whatever. Um, this is something that uh, is, is run by families and, and really we're making it available for all researchers. So um, I hope you see you there soon and uh, thanks for joining. I'm gonna end the session now.